patient came in today with feelings of vertigo and dizziness that's been occurring for the past week. Uh, this has been going on once a week for the last five years. It uh, started occurring after chemotherapy, cancer treatment. Um, she noticed that it was also accompanied by uh, chronic headaches in the frontal sinus region that occur all the time for her. Um, but she noticed that once, once a year, uh, the, this ver sensation of extreme severe vertigo would occur. Uh, uncertain what it is, she takes meclizine right now for it, doesn't really help. Once in a while she'll take Valium. Uh, she actually went to the emergency room in an ambulance for this episode because she was so bad off. Um, it started as a feeling of nausea and then progressed to uh, the vertigo sensation where she just couldn't move her head. Um, after testing her, uh, we realized that most of her complaints were right-sided, um, her unilateral weakness. She t I asked her which direction the uh, room was spinning during a vertigo. She said counterclockwise. Um, which was congruent with the right cerebellar and right vestibular findings that we saw uh, because as the left cerebellum, which is stronger, pushes the eyes across midline, the right frontal lobe has to saccade or push the eyes back to center in a quick movement. However, it usually doesn't stop right in center because it's such a powerful eye movement. It goes past it and it kind of gives a sensation of dizziness or vertigo or pushing your body movement to the left in a circular motion, um, accelerate, you know, uh, angular acceleration in that direction, which is why she notices counterclockwise vertigo. Um, she notices that she always kind of falls to the uh, right side um, as well. If you notice, she's, she holds her head uh, in her hand because her head feels so heavy because her neck muscles and her vestibular system are not matching up. She doesn't have the body spatial awareness that you and I both have. Um, she has a chronic head tilt to the right, uh, which she notices uh, is there all the time. Um, and she has a lot of compression at the occipital region in the, uh, at the base of the skull and in the upper cervical and lower cervical regions, as well as rib restrictions, posterior rib restrictions, due to all the faulty mechanics going on in the neck uh, upper thoracic spine uh, in the vestibular system because we know that the vestibular and cerebellar control over uh, unilateral uh, extensor muscle tone is, is very, very great in that if any of those are affected, then the muscle, muscle tone will be asymmetric and therefore create misalignments, asymmetry, head tilt, um, you know, vertebral rotation in the neck, um, compression of the occiput, creating the chronic headaches, the, uh, the vertigo and dizziness. Um, we tested her for uh, in a hall pikes maneuver. That was negative. There was no dizziness at all. Um, sensation in that. Uh, I thought there might be some BPPV associated, but there wasn't. <clears throat> we did also notice that she's had depression for the past five years since her cancer treatment uh, and since this vestibular she's been going on. We explained to her that the mechanism in the vestibular and cerebellar region communicates with the midbrain, a red nucleus, and that communicates with the left frontal lobe. We also told her that the pontomedullary reticular formation of the brain stem is also highly associated, uh, which also communicates with other regions to uh, improve brain function. Basically, she's not getting enough juice from the lower parts in the brain stem and the neck that are not uh, increasing the metabolic cognitive areas of the frontal lobe. And when the left frontal lobe declines, that's when you can notice areas of depression and anxiety. Um, she, uh, if, you, if you look at her, she's her eyes are kind of closed, she's just depressed in function. After we treated her today, uh, we noticed that she was doing fantastic. She could, could now turn her head and look at me without feeling dizzy. Her retesting of Romberg's and finger to nose, which initially were s real sway to the right, almost a positive Romberg's, and the finger to nose was real choppy and missed uh, on the right side. Uh, the left side wasn't that great, but a little bit better. Uh, we noticed that she was real smooth. Uh, the person that was also with her noticed the same thing. Her head tilt was gone. She no longer had any issues in that region. Uh, we'll probably notice that some of these things will start to slightly come back because of the chronicity of the condition. However, we're going to treat her over 12 visits to ensure that we can create long-term potentiation or synaptic regeneration um, to create a consistent or stable uh, neural environment in the brain that's consistent with stabilizing these issues. Uh, we don't want to see these things come back, so therefore we're going to effectively retrain her, give her gaze stabilization, give her brain exercises to keep these cognitive areas in the right shape that they're supposed to be to reduce depression, anxiety, and those types of things. 
will give her gaze stabilization times one times two viewing, which are eye exercises uh, that will that will increase um, and balance the vestibular uh, and cerebellar areas of the brain. Uh, that will reduce the vertigo and dizziness. We'll also be working on her cervical spine, her upper thoracic, and her ribs to increase the feedback from the spine to those regions to make it symmetric, and therefore they can continue. It goes from bottom up, right, from the spine to the cerebellar, vestibular, quantum medullary areas, midbrain, frontal lobe. Don't forget about the thalamus in there. Um, she should do really well, so we're excited. Uh, she had amazing results after just the first treatment today. Uh, we just did a couple neuro exercises and a few adjustments, and she's doing fantastic. So we're going to see her back in a few days, and then we're going to set up a treatment plan over the next six weeks to guide her into more of a permanent solution. Uh, she's very excited uh, about this as well. So thank you.